Welcome to the vlog. So it is three o'clock on Tuesday. We went grocery shopping this morning. Um, yeah, girls are upstairs playing. I um, I was just talking to my sister, and she's going to a concert, and so. Uh, somebody I never heard of called Trevor Hall so I was just looking up <laughs> on YouTube so anyway I am going to get some ribbit trim started I'm gonna see how many I can get done right now I'm gonna check to see what the next one is that needs to ship a 3T and a rainbow. I think I'm going to save the rainbow for last. Should I do it first? The only reason I want to do it last is because of glitter. But yeah, I'll just wait. I'll just do it last just because of the glitter. Um, anyway, I'm going to do these because all the orders I have to work on next are, let's see, this lady needs her shirt by the 5th, which is in three days, but her ship date is the 4th. Um, I don't have a size 5T shirt. I think they'll be in tomorrow. We'll see. Um, I will, I mean, I don't know. I'm probably going to message her and just to let her know because her ship date is the 4th. She put needs ASAP. Yes, I understand that. But she ordered how many days ago? She ordered 7, 8. She done ordered. It would be 9 days ago today. Um, but still, you know nine days how many days in advance did she order seven eight nine ten eleven twelve she ordered just 12 days in advance and my ship my turnaround time is set at 12 days um, and she didn't do any rush order or anything like that but I can't I can't make something I don't have the shirt to make it on um, my order should I think it'll be in tomorrow Angela sent it out yesterday um, and I think it's usually two days from her to me. But I'm going to go ahead and work on these ribbon trims. And I'm going to see how many I can get done. A lot of these ones that I have to make, I don't have the shirts for. I might have the shirt for that one. I think it was a 14. And this one is a size 6. I don't have... I have this one, adult, so I can work on that. And this 3 t t-shirt, I don't think I can work on. Anyway, I'm just going to try to get these done. You know, I'm going to listen to a little bit more of this. It was, I'm listening to Trouble, Trevor Hall live in Charleston, full performance. Anyway, it's just some band that, somebody that she likes. Um, but, anyway, um... Yeah, that's all. I'm going to make probably pork chops for dinner. You know, I might do... I don't know, really. Or I might do... Well, if I was going to do that, I should have already started it, so I can't do that. But I can do... I don't know what I'm going to make. I'm either going to make those little individual meatloafs or the pork chops. Alyssa's here, and I think Sterling and her both like those pork chops. So I might just do that and then make a side dish of some sort. We'll see. 
I got green beans too, and they love green beans. I got potatoes, so I can just do some mashed potatoes maybe. I think I'll do that. Anyway, so let's see how much oh, stupid gnats. See how much I can get done. <laughs> you want to please don't be polite cause i like your attitude let's forget about a curfew cause all that is stuck in my head is me and you both speed in my heart is pacing but i'm not sure i wanna pace it cause it only does this with you our bodies meet i can feel the tension move us into the next dimension let's just let our bodies be true Make out for the thrill of it Mess around for the thrill of it Don't stop now, never let this end For the thrill of it, we can have it, no regret We make out for the thrill of it Mess around for the thrill of it Don't stop now, never let this end For the thrill of it, we can have it, no regret We just got our grass cut. I know you guys want to come out and eat it, don't you? Whoa. She's like, whoa. Grass. No, she's, Mom, the chicken saying, wow, wow, dude, man. Wow, dude, man. They're saying, whoa. They're saying, You saw what Jessica got out, guys. Mom? Stop number two. We're looking for some shock for the pool. Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. So it is Wednesday now. And as you guys saw, we went to Tractor Supply to get a what is that, a 30 gallon feeder. Um, so this is like the third one I bought this year, like within a year's time. That what happens is the little so it has like these three pieces that are like riveted 
onto the bottom that holds a, it's like so you have a little hook that hooks underneath here and this thing is like riveted onto the bottom so it's like you know gnat in my face so you know it holds it well it breaks off so then you only have two pieces hanging it so then it's all like lopsided and stuff um some of you are probably like what the heck are you talking about but it's like a can so it's like a hollow just a can that sits on a bottom that there's a pan underneath here that sits on top that has little three little pieces that hook into it so when the food comes down it goes out into this pan and as they the chickens peck it you know more and more just comes it's like a gravity feeder um, and I prefer that one because it is metal and that it will hold enough because at first when I was in there I was like maybe I should just get like a 15 gallon so um, because we don't hardly I say we don't hardly have it. We have about 16 chickens um, as opposed to we have 30 some chickens. So uh, I got rid of um, 11 just recently to a guy and then we had the one die. So um, yeah, so we're down to just that, you know, that many chickens. Uh, I did get these in the mail. These are what I went after the other day um, to the post office and they only had two. So I like to, if somebody orders like multiple aprons, these ones are good. I don't know. I don't know if I'll fit. I can try it. But if they order like multiple aprons or multiple shirts, I usually like to put them in one of these bubble mailers because it is a flat rate and it's eight dollars these cost more than the these ones which are stuck together but these are like eight something i think these are 7.95 i might be wrong anyway they're a little these are more um but you can you know cram more in these than these. Um, there is a trick with these mailers. Why is this stuck? Anyway, so in case you don't know this, so let's say you wanted to mail like three or four shirts. What I do is I take this side and I fold it up, right? And I pinch it. Then I take this side and I fold it up and I pinch it. So then you got something that looks like this. So then you can fit a few more shirts, you know. And then you just fold this over and then seal it so you kind of have, you know. Um, so it does work. And then what I usually do is if it's having a hard time closing at the top because sometimes, you know, it does. I usually just take some tape and just tape it over top. So that way it is um, sealed. But that is just a little trick. I learned that, I don't know how many years ago, but it does help. And if, it's, if it fits, it ships, so <laughs> that is one way you you know maximize using these if you got a lot like I said wonder if I could fit I probably couldn't it probably went close I was like I wonder if I could fit all those um I just prefer to do it that way because it has insurance on it I mean if they would all fit I could make them fit. Nope. It wouldn't close. But if I like really squished them in there, I, you, I could. If I didn't want to squish them. And if I seal it up, look at there. I got them all to fit. <laughs> they were all bent. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, those, the aprons, I think there's two more aprons that I need to go with that set. And they should be in today, I think. Pretty sure. We need to find somewhere to put these. Um, Evan is moving back in. So he's never technically moved all the way out, but he is moving back in. I don't want to, you know, get into all of that, but um, I'm having to move all my stuff. I was just talking to Mandy. Because I'm like, it looks like a craft room or a craft um, store blew up in here. Because I had, you know, all the tool from Serena and just, you know, just odds and ends and stuff I had stored in his room because, you know, no one's staying in there. So why not make use of it? So now I had to move all of the, um, why is that making so much noise? A plastic bag that was like making, uh, uh. Anyway, um, I've got more of these too. So I had to move all the tool. It's out here on the bed. Um, <clears throat> I had a thread rack with all that thread. I had a bunch of aprons. I had a box with my hat drivers in them. Um, just a lot of just odds and ends. This room is really, really small. I've said it before, but I think it looks bigger on camera. But it is a very tiny like bedroom but I'm not complaining because at least I do have you know a place to work and put my stuff my big thing my fault must be out there was I wanted a place where I can close the door so like you know cats and stuff like that don't get into my stuff um I could get a TJ point order I ordered all the shirts I needed and then um, I think she sent the replacement shirt for the one that had the spots on it. Which I already, Danny sent me a shirt, I just paid Danny for it. Did I? Oh my gosh, I did pay Danny for it. I mean, I just sent her some money. I totally forgot. Yeah, so she did throw in a five t shirt. I bought a 14. So these are for all the orders. I have to make this week. So a 14, a 12. Three size sixes. A two T, right? How many five T's? Two five T's. Mm -hmm. A two four T's. Yeah. And then a twelve to eighteen months and a six to twelve months. And then I'm waiting for Amazon to show up with those aprons. So I'm going to get to work. It is 2.40. I'm going to try to get... First thing I'm going to do is I have made all the ribbon trims except for one. Which I have to finish putting the glitter ribbon on. So I'm going to string all of these. Because I didn't put them on the waistband yet. There's like four. I'm going to put those on the waistband and then I will sew the glitter ribbon on the glitter one and then string that up. So those will be done. Um, I will be making those mini personalized meatloafs today. Um, and I'll probably do mashed potatoes with them. And green beans. And a peach cobbler if my white peaches are good. Um... If I have enough of them. If not, I might just run out and grab a few more extra white peaches off the tree. 
They are called China Pearls and they are so delicious. They're like big and like they have almost like a different texture to them. And they're always like sweet. There's like, I don't know, sometimes peaches can like when they get soft, they can get really stringy. These are not stringy at all. If you know peaches, then you know what I'm talking about. But um, I'll probably make the peach cobbler again, the white one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leslie. If you were here, I would make you some too. <laughs> but um, I'll probably make that. And I did buy vanilla ice cream to go with it. So I'll probably start that probably about 4.30ish. I don't remember how long the meatloaves take. I have to look up the recipe again. I just remember what I put in it, which was... Um, Burger Worcestershire 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 Somebody told me to call it the What is it? Rooster sauce um, Anyway It's that It's some chili sauce It's breadcrumbs It's Bacon Cheese and you make little mini meatloaves and then you brush um, barbecue sauce on them and then you bake them. They were just so good. And then tomorrow we'll have the crock pot taco stuff I was talking about. Taco bowls and then on Friday, I don't know what we'll have. We're going to the beach the next day so it'll probably be something. simpler but Evan will be here to take over the cats that's a good thing um, we don't have to worry about Papa or Uncle Brian feeding the cats oh my goodness oh gosh reading this this thing why do you like to sharpen your nails I just cut them you don't have no nails there what are you trying to sharpen girl hmm? Like, she has two things that hang out. You do. I'm just telling them. And so I was like, meow. Oh, they're dry. They just hang out. They just got little toopers there that hang out all the time. Huh. So we just got toopers there. All right. And then, yeah, so I don't know if Evan will be here or not for dinner, but I need to get these done. So I'm going to start with the range rooms. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Oh, let us dance We get lost in the crowd, it's getting thicker We get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Feel the air getting there Standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us Live your life within the moment Till the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Not away, older, dance, 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 d
dream No one else can see us So let us dance this night away I'm gonna go ahead and sew on the pink and the pink, the glitter onto my ribbon trim. Um, it's kind of funny. I just messaged somebody. Let me know if y'all get this too. Um, I was just looking at my orders that I have to make. And then one of them was like, need by August 5th. Rush, need ASAP party on August 5th. And they ordered 12 days ago. No, 11 days ago. No, 10 days ago. Yeah. Because um, today's the 3rd. And they ordered on... It was a Sunday, the 20, 24th. So Sunday to Sunday would have been seven days, eight, nine, 10. So today's the 10th day. Anyway, um, so I just messaged them and I'm like, uh, your ship date is uh, 12 days from purchase date. And I saw you where you said you needed this by this date. I can make it and ship it tomorrow, but you're not going to get it by Friday. Uh -huh. So please let me know because I'd hate for you to waste your money, you know, and it not arrive in time. So anyway, um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut all these. I'm making a big old mess anyway with this glitter. So we'll see what they say. Um, I have no problem making or canceling their order I would just hate for them to waste their money um, or like be like I told you I needed it by this day um, just because <clears throat> you know you need it in a hurry doesn't make it a priority in my life Cause, you know I could have this morning when the order when the shirt order came in because I had ordered those shirts because it was a 5 t-shirt um, I could have hurried up and got it done and then drove to the post office to ship it, but, well, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean or rude or, you know, but why would I go out of my way to do that for, you know, somebody who, you know, clearly they know when their child's birthday is. Don't wait until $12, 12 days before your child's birthday and expect to get a personalized item, you know what I mean? I wouldn't wait 12 days before Journey's birthday party and expect somebody to make her a shirt. Because um, I know how much work goes into it and stuff. So, anyway, I just thought I'd rant because I just messaged them and I'm like. Because at first I was like, well, it's 4 o'clock. If I hurry up, the design wouldn't even be done by 4.30. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to worry about it. You know, the ship date is the ship date. <laughs> but I told them I would get it out tomorrow if they, you know, if they still want it, I can get it done tonight and ship it tomorrow. And they'll be like, well, I paid for priority mail, rush order. That's not rushing my turnaround time. That is just the method it is used to ship. Anyway, it is 4 o'clock. 
I'm gonna look at my recipe real quick. I'm probably gonna go up about 4.30ish and start it. But hopefully I can get all these ribbons sewn on and I mean it shouldn't take me that long at all. And then um, I'm gonna start some shirts and just work down my line. Amazon hasn't come yet either. So let's get ready to rumble. Flying high, are we going too far? I got no cash left and I'm losing my job over you. But I don't care about that. Hi guys. So dinner was delicious. It just now I'm wrapping up. Um, that's such a mess. Such a mess. Such a mess. Such a mess. Um. I've got several that are technically done, but I'm not shipping out yet. One is this one, so I can get a picture of it tomorrow. Um, they don't need it until, I don't remember. It's like in a couple weeks, so I mean, it'll be fine. It's not even supposed to ship until next Tuesday. So, the reason I got it done is because we'll be coming back from the beach on Tuesday. And I don't want, don't want to worry about any orders. Um, but this one, on the other hand, um, I think I mentioned something earlier about they needed it. They ordered just 12 days in advance and they needed it um, by Friday. And tomorrow is Thursday. And so, um, they finally got back with me and they said the party was actually Saturday night or Saturday evening, so go ahead and send it. And so I'm like, um, I don't even know if you would technically get it Saturday. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's two or three days, you know what I mean? They live in Texas. It's probably three days. I don't know. Anyway, it is finished. I love, I just love, um, this is the glitter, the pink, the hot pink, the orange, and the blue. It's from Glitter Bug Fairy. Can you see how pretty that is? It's just so bright and it's got a lot of sparkle to it. It's so beautiful. So, anyway, um, so that is ready to go but I asked them if they 
wanted me to check on overnight prices. Um, and it just it drives me crazy when people don't message you back. I'm like, I don't know whether to ship it first class, I mean priority mail, or you know if they want to pay for over overnight one day. It's actually called Priority Express. Anyway, I feel like I didn't do a lot, but I did do a lot, if that makes sense. I mean, as far as orders go, there's only going to be one, two, three, four going out. But that one is done too, so that would be five. And all those ribbon trims are done. So. Turn some stuff off here. Um, anyway, but I did make big dinner and made dessert and all that other stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and head upstairs. I got big responded. Oh, they did respond. Priority shipping is fine. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go package this up and get this shipped out as well and end the vlog. So, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hey, tomorrow. Bye, guys.